Hello guys, welcome to my world of fragrance. Today I'm doing a review of the new Francesca Bianchi fragrance called Luxe Calme Volupt. So therefore I have on a robe <laughs> because I'm feeling the vibe of this new fragrance. It looks luxurious, let me show you. It looks calm, it looks voluptuous. <laughs> For lack of better words, it's a lady in some water, floating around in some beautiful avant-garde dress, and I'm all for the general vibe of this. So I have a sample that I have received, and I'm just really excited to try this. I'm not going to read what the back of this says, and I have not read any reviews or watched any reviews on this fragrance. I am just keeping this a real honest take and I might come back and do an update on how the dry down is or I'll leave a comment down below on the actual dry down. So let us try Luxe Calme Volupte. And as you guys know, I already have Sex in the Scene Aroli and Under My Skin from this collection. If you are new to Francesca Bianchi fragrances, this is a one-man show, a one-woman show. This is a remarkable perfumer who creates very dense fragrances for, I would say, the seasoned nose. So not necessarily something that a person who is beginning to embark on their fragrance journey uh, might be interested in, but a more experienced nose, if you will. So knowing that these are extras, so they are high in concentration, 20 plus percent perfume oil. I'm gonna be trying these on skin. I know that Bianchi uses a lot of um, naturals in her perfumes, so they're just better on the skin. So let's feel the experience. This is a good start. <laughs> this smells quite fruity as I expected. The initial first uh, sniff is fruity, but not... I don't know how to say this. It doesn't smell like real fruits. It smells quite tangy, quite sherberty, quite like orange sherbet. It's very pineapple-y at the moment, like real realistic pineapple at this point. And then with this background of some sort of soft resins. It's really nice. Yeah, some tropical fruit basket. Um, but you're feeling, obviously, the base notes coming more to life, coming more to the forefront. So that resinous and then a hint of something woody as well. So it smells kind of bitter woody um, at the base. It's very interesting. You know, I had already expected that it would be. <laughs> now, would I wear this? I'm not so sure. I'd have to wear this a bit longer. It's tropical, but it's not like your typical tropical fragrance. It's tropical in the Bianchi type of way. So it's tropical, but it's still dense. It's still um, carnal. It's still complicated it's like a relationship that's complicated <laughs> so if you're looking for your typical tropical drink type of summer refresher fragrance this ain't it this is so much more than that so much more dense and i feel like this is one that you could wear all year round and is gender neutral you know if i need to say that because the woodiness is really coming through from the bottom. It's like a bittery type of woodiness. It smells vetiverish. Um, so yes, I think that this could be worn in a lot of seasons and it's more in the beginning phases of the fragrance that you truly feel the tropicalness of Luxe Calme Volupte. So um, yeah, if you're looking for that tropical cocktail, not gonna be it. If you're looking for a denser fragrance that incorporates some of that tropical fruitiness to give you an initial blast of, you know, you're on holiday somewhere, then this could be it for you. I am gonna keep this on my skin, let it develop, and I will leave an update down below. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed my first impressions on this fragrance. <sighs> This was a good experience, and let me know if you have tried any of Francesca Bianchi's work, what you think about it. I know that 
you know, there are huge fans of this brand out there, but there are also people who find it, you know, a little bit too much for them. So let me know which camp you lie in and I will see you in my next review. Bye.